Now, if I'm dealing with something electrical, so in fact, this is, this is a lamp. Uh, you want to stop any type of corrosion as fast as possible at a job site. So we use a product called uh, Unwet CPDL, but you could use anything that's a water displacement chemistry. We're just trying to stop any additional corrosion from the soot eating into the electrical. The key thing with anything electrical is you can wash it in water. People, people are amazed that you can clean anything, you can clean electronics or electrical items in water. But every piece of electronics you own has gone through some type of a water bath in its original manufacturing process. The key to all electrical items is you've got to dry them. So I have a rule of thumb, 6 to 12 hours, 120 degrees, and then you'll be fine. And that's probably an overkill, but I'm pretty sure after six hours, I'm not going to have a problem. So it's not the water that's causing the electrical short, it's the stuff in water, it's the metals in the water. So by drying it, I'm removing, all the, I'm removing that possibility. So the number one thing in cleaning anything electrical is drying, proper drying. If you do that, you won't have a problem. I've done laptops, I've done uh, servers, computers, TVs, yeah, electronic circuits, never had a problem. As long as, I've, as long as we follow that drying procedure. So the process, a little bit different. We're going to run a little, we're going to run a, a temperature at 115. We are going to use a different chemistry. So I'm using an AquaClean LPH, which is low pH. And the reason I'm using a lower pH is I don't want to damage the solder joints. So the lower pH is a little more forgiving on the solder joints. I'm going to run 75% power. I'm going to still run for a minute. Now, you'll notice that I have omega smoke in there. But I just said don't. you don't want to necessarily mix the chemistries. So as an example, if I had that lamp there, and I'm going to go back to, to, to it, what I might do is I might take a mixture of, remember our pre-mixed spray bottle. I'll have some omega smoke and water. I'll spray the outside of this lamp and let it pre-soak, again, like a spray and wash, like a stain in laundry. And then I'll dunk the lamp into the ultrasonic bath with my AquaClean LPH, because that's really what I'm, I'm submerging it in. So I'm really mixing two chemistries, but not necessarily in the same tank at the same time. Uh, on this particular lamp, what we actually did here is we removed all the hanging glass pieces, and these might have been crystals. This was a fairly expensive piece. And we cleaned those separately and then we dunked the whole lamp in. But we pre-sprayed it, let it sit for about three, four minutes, and then we dunked it into the tank. After that, we rinsed it, and again, anything electrical, you want to rinse it, and then rinse it a little more than you think, because you want to make sure you've got no soap residue at all. And then from there, we air wash it, we ran it through the tunnel dryer, and then from there, that, that, that lamp went to our drying room and spent the night. So six to 10 hours, 120 degrees is the key to, to doing electronics or anything electrical.